After the disappointing performance in the previous battle, Lieutenant Edward James is reassigned, taken off the Erie class cruiser and given a tier 2 Samson destroyer instead. Having never commanded a Samson before, Lieutenant Edward James must undergo training before he will be able to utilize the skills he has learned from his past experience. This training comes in three options, with each option costing more but reducing the retraining time required. The basic training will be free, but he must earn all of his experience in battle, a risky proposition. The Naval Academy costs 200,000 credits, but costs in half the amount of experience penalty that must be worked off by switching to a new class of ships. The Senior Command course removes all penalties that must be earned, but it is the most expensive, costing 500 gold. All experience earned will now go towards working off the experience debt. All skills will work with 50% efficiency until this debt has been paid. The higher the tier of the ship, the more experience a previous commander must work off before becoming fully trained. Lieutenant Edward James is now ready and sets sail for his first battle in the new Samson Destroyer. Noticing almost immediately that the enemy team is all Tier 2 and Tier 3, the lieutenant intends to express caution in this engagement. Lieutenant James knows that artillery on U.S. destroyers is above average and one of its greatest strengths. Firing his guns at the enemy cruiser, he uses the range and rapid reload of the Samsung destroyer to move enemy ships while avoiding return fire. When an enemy destroyer begins to fire smoke on the Samson, the lieutenant orders smoke be dropped. Samson turns away and drops torpedoes, hoping the smoke will cover his intentions. The enemy destroyer dodges the torpedoes, but takes repeated fire from the Samson's gun in return. Lieutenant turns and engages a nearby battleship, the island preventing torpedoes from being launched. The Samson is rocked by sustained fire from multiple targets and then the worst possible situation happens. Turning to avoid murderous incoming fire, Lieutenant Edward James mistakenly beaches the ship. Understanding that his death is virtually assured, the Lieutenant orders that torpedoes be launched at the incoming enemy armada. 
returning fire every five seconds. The lieutenant watches the torpedo spread intently, and he is pleasantly satisfied when all four torpedoes hit the target. Continuing to take unrelenting incoming fire, the Samson begins to break apart. Lieutenant James orders one last salvo of torpedoes launched before he and his crew must abandon the ship. Watching his ship sink, Lieutenant Edward James can at least have the satisfaction of watching both of his final torpedoes strike an enemy target. Later that evening, during the debriefing, the lieutenant is reprimanded for losing another ship so quickly. He is also commended on his aggression. His fight to the death attitude landed him third place on the team for experience earned. After repairs are completed, Lieutenant Edward James is once again allowed to command the Samson destroyer. His previous battle gave him enough experience to pay off his experience debt, allowing his skills to function at normal efficiency. He also received enough experience to earn another skill point, while gaining over 75% of the experience needed for a second skill point in the process. The start of the next battle has a grim outlook for Lieutenant Edward James. With most of the enemy team comprised of cruisers, his ship will be a constant priority target. Holding his fire, Lieutenant James is attempting to use his ship to spot enemies while remaining hidden. The lieutenant prefers engaging enemy destroyers and sets a course to intercept. Firing torpedoes, Lieutenant James hopes to force the destroyer to steer away, allowing him to fire flanking shots. All of this proves unnecessary, however, as the enemy destroyer simply sails straight into the torpedoes. Dealing over 50% of the entire enemy ship's health in a single salvo, Lieutenant Edward James is given the devastating strike achievement. Ignoring the cheers of his crew, Lieutenant James orders the guns to turn and take aim at a nearby enemy destroyer. With his death, few targets remain, and the lieutenant takes a quick snapshot at a fleeing enemy cruiser.
As the Samson and several Fenley ships converge on this enemy destroyer, something snaps. The enemy destroyer performs a quick change of direction and plows straight into the Fenley ship. Both ships explode from the collision, sending smoke and fire billowing into the air. Although stunned by the loss of the Fenley ship, the lieutenant keeps his wits and orders the guns to open fire on an enemy battleship. Blind with rage, he drives straight into the open ocean, firing his weapons as he goes. Charging straight at the enemy battleship, Lieutenant Edward James orders smoke deployed as he fires torpedoes. Turning away, he receives engine damage, which his crew is then able to repair. Two of the torpedoes find their mark, but the lieutenant keeps moving, turning the ship to engage the already injured enemy battleship. Using evasive maneuvers, the Samson is able to dodge the incoming fire while returning some of its own. Noticing the enemy battleship's guns are facing the wrong way, Lieutenant Edward James begins to close the distance. When the target is destroyed, he orders the guns to turn and fire on the last remaining target.
this battle was a large confidence boost for both the lieutenant and his superiors, who were beginning to question his abilities. Thanks for watching, and if you liked what you saw, please click subscribe below.